Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Stell. And today is my first ketogenic video. Um, I'm going to do a dish. And the dish is none other than... Ta -da! Oops. I'm going to do a lazy man lobster casserole. So, um, the ingredients I'm going to have is... We need mozzarella cheese, um, garlic, clams, celery, and of course, cream. I'm going to let the lobster tore a little more because I've forgotten them in the freezer. And once they are tall, I'll remove the flesh from the shell and we can, we can begin cooking. Um, first, we are going to heat up some butter. And we're gonna put in the garlic. My garlic has changed the color due to being frozen in the fridge. Ooh, it smells good. Garlic and butter can never go wrong with lobster, right? Then we're gonna add the celery. You want to spread out the celery so it doesn't make your casserole wet or very liquid. Spreading all out. I'm going to add in the lobster because uh, my clam is cooked and frozen. <laughs> I just realized that I didn't give you guys any specific amount to add because I just think that some people might have a different taste. They like to put more of celery or more garlic or more butter or lobster. It's actually up to individual preferences. That is why I never indicate how much um, I'm putting into this dish. liquid
all the cream. Um, actually, you're supposed to use heavy cream, but I couldn't find any, so I'm using Mbox whipping cream instead. Delicious. Wow. Now in keto, we do not recommend putting uh, any flour or anything to thicken up the sauce. So hence I'm actually boiling it down until the sauce is more, less liquidified. Or if you want, you could add in some xanthan gum or gua gum. But I think I'm going to add in some gelatin instead. <laughs>
is my gelatin. You don't want to put too much gelatin or when it cools down it turns into a jelly. <laughs> Boil them to lessen the liquid by a little bit more. Once this is done, divide it into equal portion, into ramekin bowls. Be careful, it's kind of hot, so I'm going to be really careful here. that the cream is actually turning into quite a sticky and not liquidy 
you want it to be sticky so it will be like a casserole. So once you have um, divided the the stew into a ramekin bowl, now you want to add your cheese over it. Ooh, cheese! It might there might be too little cheese. Oh. I think it might be enough. I think that might be enough. Just try to as best as you can cover up the stew, cover up the casserole. Once you're done covering up the casserole, you can now put it into the oven and bake till the cheese turns golden brown, okay? Hi guys, so once you're done baking, your casserole should look something like this. Yeah, my cheese kind of sink to the bottom, so um... It, it's not that nice. Maybe you can try torching it instead, but I do not have a torch, so I use big. Hi guys, so I hope you enjoy the cooking video. And I um, would like to hear your comments on the video. And if you try out the recipe, I would like to hear your comments as well. So I hope to hear from you guys. And if you haven't subscribed or liked my video, please subscribe and like my video. Thank you. See you. Bye-bye.